everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Snow Trails Christmas ornament which you can see here in the photo. There you can also find uh, many more photos along with the free written crochet pattern for this video on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and uh, the direct link for this pattern is in the description of this video. So this is the snow trails ornament which we are going to work on today. This ornament is worked uh, around a plastic DIY crochet Christmas ornament bauble. I found these ones at uh, my local craft store and they have about an 8 inch circumference. Now you might be able to stretch these ornaments around the the, uh, the yarn around uh, the size up around a 9 inch circumference but these ones here are the 8 inch circumference. You can also uh, upcycle some old Christmas baubles that you may have hanging on your tree and that you want to update a little bit. So along with uh, one of these DIY baubles or a one that you're going to recycle, you're also going to need about 20 to 30 yards of a lightweight yarn. Now I'm going to be using today the Shawl in a Ball by Lion Brand. It does say that it is a medium weight yarn, but I find that it's a little bit on the lighter side. So if you are going to substitute this yarn um, from the ones that you see here, I would go with a lightweight yarn. Today for the video to make it easier to see, I'm going to be using a Patton's Grace yarn which is that number three there. With uh, your yarn about 20 to 30 yards you're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook and I'll have a link in the description of this video to uh, to these items for you. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here don't forget to subscribe take a look around and uh, let's uh, let's gather our things together and crochet the snow trails Christmas ornament. So as mentioned at the beginning, eventually our ornament, our crochet is going to go over top of our ornament, but we're actually going to set that aside to begin. And the bulk of the ornament is actually worked uh, off just uh, on its own. So what we're going to do, it is worked in rounds. We're going to start by making a slip knot and then make a foundation chain with a total of 36 chains. There's 20. and 36. Once you have your 36 chains worked, being careful not to twist your chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch to form a ring. Just like so. Now for round one, you're going to chain one, single crochet into that first stitch, chain five, and skip the next five chains in your foundation chain. So one, two, three, four, five, into that next chain work one single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So chain five, skip five, and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around ending with a chain five and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first 
stitch. I'm now at the end of my round one. Uh, make sure that it hasn't twisted at all as you've been working and then you're going to join in the top of the first single crochet stitch after you have your chain five there. So this is what your work should look like. We're now going to for round two chain one and repeat the round just worked. So single crochet into that first stitch, chain five, skip the next five chains and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain five, skip five, single crochet into the next stitch. I'm at the end of my round two joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then this is what your work looks like. For round three you're going to chain one, single crochet into the next stitch, chain seven, skip the next five chains, and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Chain seven, skip the next five chains, and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round four, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, and this is what your work looks like so far. For round five, we're now going to repeat our round four. So chain one, single crochet into that first stitch, chain seven, you're now going to skip the next seven chains and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Chain seven, and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round five, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round six, we're going to begin by chaining five. And your chain five is going to count as a double crochet and a chain two. You're then going to work a single crochet into the next chain seven space working around the last two rounds. So working around those chain seven loops of the last two rounds, single crochet into that uh, chain seven space. So just insert your hook two rows down around the center of those loops and complete your single crochet stitch like so. You're then going to chain five and repeat. So skipping the next single crochet, you're going to single crochet into the next chain seven space, two rows below, working around those two chain sevens. Like so. It's going to pull them together. So if I spread it apart, you can see what's happening there. Repeat, chain five, 
into the next chain seven space two rows below work a single crochet working around those two chains chain five and repeat Once you come all the way back around, it can be a little tricky to hang on to. <laughs> Once you come all the way around to your last chain seven space, you're going to chain two and then join with a slip stitch. Let's just get that string out of the way join with a slip stitch into the third chain of your chain five of the starting chain five so this is what it will look like at the join and then this is your piece so far and that brings you to the end of your round six for round seven you're going to chain one single crochet into the same chain as joining chain two skip the next chain two space and single crochet into the next single crochet you're then going to chain five skip the next chain five space and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Chain five, skip the chain five space, single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. all the way around to your final single crochet and when you come to your final chain two space you're going to chain two and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch For round eight, you're going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch as joining, chain two, and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Chain five, skip the next chain five space, and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. So you're essentially, for round eight, repeating exactly what you worked for round seven. Repeat that all the way around, coming to your final chain two space, then chain two and join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. You can then fasten off your work and uh, I'll show you how to put this onto your plastic DIY ornament. Once you have finished to your round eight, you can fasten off then and weave in your ends and you're going to have a piece that looks similar to this one here. We're now going to put it onto our bobble. So you're going to need a yarn needle and some scissors and you're going to want to cut a couple lengths of your yarn, about six to eight inches, depending on uh, how much you like to have to tie off. So you're going to need two of these pieces of yarn, about six to eight inches long. You're then going to take your crochet lace and you're going to slip it on over top of your plastic bobble, just like so. I'm going to pull my camera back here a little bit so we have some more room to work with. There we go. So you're going to put it onto your plastic bobble 
just like so. If you need to remove this piece to make it easier, you're welcome to do that and then put it back on after. It's up to you. You're then going to take your yarn, and I thread it through my yarn needle just to make it a little bit easier. And starting at the top of your bobble, you're just going to weave it in and out through the top loops. So I'm just going in and out around the top of my bobble all the way around to the meet up to the other piece. Once you come to uh, where you started, you're then going to pull it tight around the top. It's going to bring it together and you're going to have this little bit of a star design here up top. You can then uh, simply, I just tied it because you want to make sure that it is secure, that it's not going to unravel and slip off. So tie it in a knot and then weave in your final ends. And when I wove mine in, I kind of tucked them in around the top of this bobble. You're then going to take the other piece of yarn and you're going to do the same at the bottom. So just weave in and out through the loops down around the bottom like so. When you meet up there at the end, you can untie it. You're then going to pull it tight. Oh, sorry, I should have done that in the camera. You're then going to pull it tight just like so to bring it closed. It's going to stretch those loops, but that's okay. You're going to have a bit of a star shape down at the bottom. And then you're simply then going to also tie it off like so. Weave in your ends and your snow trails Christmas ornament is complete. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, I invite you to come back again tomorrow. We're going to work on another Christmas ornament for this Christmassy crochet along and uh, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.